Seth, we've wanted to have you on for a long time. And right off the bat, I mean, we cut the small talk out. We're about to start Toledo Bend tomorrow. Normally, we hang out in the RV here and get to know the guests a little bit. We, we just brought you right on. But right off the bat, I got a question. Mm-hmm. When we ask you to do the Bilge podcast, and you're a really honest guy, so give me a real honest answer. Were you A, oh, yeah, I'm excited, dude. Let's do this thing. I could showcase my personality. Were you B, man, not another podcast. Or C, no feeling at all. Oh, I was excited. I oh, like nice. this podcast. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Hey, Charles, Enjoy can you do it. me a favor? Can you just shut that door? I hate that lighting. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Dude, I'm stoked that you did this. I'm sorry, because y'all start practice tomorrow. Yeah, that's no big deal. I've been, I, I didn't do anything today. I just got all my stuff ready, so. I think Seth's been in the game long enough to know, like, this is a part of the game, you know? Like, I mean, it is, right? I mean, how long have you been in it now? Seven, eight years? That's my ninth year. Dude, we're getting old. I know. We're getting so old. I was talking about that today. Who It feels like it's only been a couple years, but... Who are you rolling with? Who are you staying with here this Uh, week? Maddie and the Johnstons. Okay, right on. Yeah. Yeah. So I was... When we were driving uh, today, I was thinking about it, and uh, one thing that, you know, the whole industry is talking about payouts and you got the felts video and all that and i kind of wanted to know like your feelings on it because i remember pre-split you know you were like right on the cusp of like possibly not making it and then your brand just exploded and so i'd like to talk about like your mindset like and i know you've talked about it a few times but just like right now with the way everything in the industry is and what you went through back then like how you feel about the conversations going on. Yeah. Um, I mean, I knew all that getting into this and I, I'm happy with it. I'm okay. Cause I don't have a lot of options. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't like, Oh, I could have been. Can't kill a ducks doctor for a living. Or a yeah. lawyer or <laughs> yeah. something like that. Like I was destined to like pound nails and make 40 grand a year the rest right. of my life. So yeah. going out and making a couple hundred grand a year fishing is like insane to me. He you know, broke I, out, he broke out pre 2019. Didn't you, you did, didn't, didn't you? What did you, what did you say? You're, right before, right? I, I yeah, started catching them like 16, yeah. 17. I think your sophomore right season, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. Yeah, I wish we'd win more money. Everybody yeah. does. I mean, what job doesn't? Who doesn't want to make more money? Even sure. football players, they want to make 20 million <laughs> instead of 10 million. You know right. what I mean? Um. So yeah, I mean, I think the payouts could be better, but yeah. it's the industry we're in. It's, it's small. Yeah. Um, I'm just happy we get to do this, you know, and have a chance to make a decent living fishing versus, you know, my other options. Right. What, did you foresee back then, like, because you have a cool personality, everybody loves you. Like, very, I, I've never heard a negative thing yeah, about you, absolutely. honestly. Even in the yeah. comment section, yeah. I've never heard a negative thing, read a negative thing. I'm sure did you, true. like... Are you one of those guys who saw, like, one day, like, this is going to, my brand's going to go boom? No, no, it just kind of happened, really. It wasn't, I didn't think it would ever be like this, to be honest did, with you. Did you yeah. ever look in the mirror, like, as you're doing this, as you're growing, did you ever look in the mirror and say, all I'm going to do is keep it real? Like, have that conversation with yourself, like, I'm just going to keep it real? Or was it all, like, naturally occurring? Not really. Um, I feel like, if anything, I stopped like pretending yes. or stop fake you know you come like in this pro- and you're like yeah you gotta be a, a pro angler and talk and do thing. all this yep. and like yeah you were you extremely know. clean cut yeah when you first came on years, yeah. 15 yeah. going into 16 15 i was like trying real hard to mm-hmm. be what everyone wanted and then 16 i really thought i was getting cut and gonna be done gone so then i was just kind of like fuck it yeah and <laughs> nice like i'm just gonna be myself and then I had a little success at the same time, and wow, it just kind of took off. When you were yourself, I think yeah. I think nationwide there are more anglers who are like you, who just do they just do it on the weekend, and, you know, like kill ducks, kill deer in the in the yeah. fall, and and fish in the springtime. Then the guy who sits there and oh, he wants to see logos and jerseys, and you know, this is how you tie a polymer knot. You know what I mean, oh, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. and it shows, right? You got like two hundred thousand plus Instagram followers right now, plus you the really? YouTube no. stuff. We got like a hundred, but <laughs> <laughs> holy crap! Yeah. Still, 
Um, mm. Do you like the social media side of things? Uh, not really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's uh, something you got to do. It's obviously yeah. part of this. I mean, that's basically where the majority of the money yeah. comes from. Do, in you, this do, sport. You, do you do YouTube? Uh, no. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I probably should. I probably should do a lot of things, but um, I it's don't know. Tough, I don't, it's yeah, tough, dude. It's tough. I don't know. It's kind of a... Do, has any... has Have companies said, why don't you do YouTube yet? Have you got that pressure? Uh, um, no, no one's pressured me into doing it, but I'm sure it would help with uh, the sponsors and stuff. Yeah. But, um, what's, uh, the, what's the number one reason why you haven't done it yet? Oh, uh, I mean, I guess... I don't, I don't know if I have a good reason. Probably just being lazy. <laughs> Just He's like grilling right off the yeah. giddy. Well, right. I'm trying to get him home. You yeah. know? <laughs> Might as well get to it. He can handle it. Yeah. Most people, I'm like having to butter up to, you know, be real in themselves. No. But you. Yeah. So, speaking of the sponsor game, like here we are in 2024. You and I both, you know, survive. Well, is the word survive the right word when the split happened in 2019? There were six of us, right, who stayed. Yeah. And by the way, when that's that list of six guys. Like when I was like, oh yeah, Seth Fighter staying. I was like, well, at least we got Seth. And at that time, you were really emerging. He's like an awesome branding guy, whatever personality guy. Um, you know, we survived all that. Here we are, four or five, six years later, whatever it is. I can't keep track. Um, how is the sponsorship game in 2024 for Seth Fighter? Um, I'm fortunate to be where I am right yeah, now. Good. I think like a new guy a rookie right now this would be a really tough year to get into it because i know a lot of people got cut yep a lot of people lost deals or yep whatever it may be um so it's definitely a rough time for a new guy I, yeah i didn't really uh get like a bunch of raises or anything this year but i was able to keep everything Same. i had and i added a few new ones and um so life's good there but it, it'd be tough timing for a, a new guy to do this dude like I, i'm thinking like so like look at our rookie class we got like nine dudes right and they're yeah. all young i yeah. hope all nine of them don't think like i'm gonna do this with a rod and reel because you and i have been there right oh, when yeah. we were 20 21 22 i'm gonna survive with a rod and reel yeah. out of those nine dudes i'll bet you six of them think that that could happen it's just, and unless they've got daddy's money like yeah. it ain't gonna happen it's not dude. Real. it ain't gonna it, happen it costs 70 grand a year to fish the yeah, elite at series. least yeah that's like if you skin cash, back We'll say you don't win anything. Let's just say you cash nine checks, mm -hmm. cash a check at every event. You made twenty thousand dollars. If that, dude, yeah. If that, yeah. I mean, like tough. If you're not winning a tournament every year, yeah. there's not really much money in earnings. Yeah, just yeah. kind of sustains the. It's cost. sick. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. When yeah. You, when you were a rookie, um, did you get a lot of sponsors initially? No, I had. Um, Probably half my expenses covered in my rookie year, and that's good. A third of that was through like a a big party we threw before it was in the winter before my season started, and had a bunch of buddies like donate Raise stuff. Money. We auctioned that's it cool. off, bought that's a bunch awesome. of kegs, that's old smart. beer cups, and that's stuff smart. like that. So ended up getting like ten grand out of that just to get me going, and I mean. It's amazing the things you will do to chase this dream. Like, it is absolutely amazing. Like, yeah. after, after my rookie season, I was as broke as I can oh, absolutely yeah. be. I had to pull wires and an electrician, you know, with Kevin Ledoux, my buddy. I mean, six days out of the week for 12 hours a day. I mean, it was just to make money to go to the next season. It's yeah. it's amazing and where you pull the money out of to, like, oh. to pay for the next season. Well, there's it's, a will, there's a way. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Did you ever watch the Fouts video? I did. What'd you think? I mean, he wasn't wrong about a lot of stuff. I mm -hmm. think um, he needs to have he needs to be a little more realistic. And yeah. right. he talks about how much he hated guiding and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's like, well, if that's the only way you make money, yeah, you right. Probably shouldn't it. say that. There's a lot of stuff I don't like doing, and I still do it. You know. So what's funny is um, the black rifle guy Paul. Yeah. He actually went on a trip, and he said that before you know the video he said it was one of his favorite guide trips ever oh i'm sure and i i don't think that felt even knew who he was yeah. he was in his boat with him at the time yeah and he called me and he was like can i get his number like i'd like to talk to him you know yeah. so um that, that's what i always wonder like for i know a lot of guys like were like oh he's being a baby or whatever but like i kind of felt like i I could tell he was truly hurting, you know, his yeah. words might, his delivery might not have been there, but he was like, yeah, a lot of the stuff he said was true. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? 
Yeah. You gotta <laughs> you still gotta do something it. about it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like sitting and whining about it doesn't do anything. Exactly. Good. Like yeah, if you don't like guiding, that's I don't like guiding either. But if I had to do it, I'd do it. You mm-hmm. know? Right. Trust me, it's a way better option than a lot of the things. You, like I said, I was destined to be framing houses and making 40 grand a year the rest of my life like that was the route i was born into you know (laughs) um what's your thoughts on this whole forward-facing sonar stuff um i'm working on it trying to get better with it i got all the tools now so right if any problems i have with it it's just on me and my lack of experience using it i don't have a an excuse because i don't have i mean there's four live scopes on that boat parked outside yeah. right now i got a 22 inch nbt yeah. like that thing kind of tricked me out for a while too. did it nice well i was throwing it like i had a little 10 inch before yeah, that and yeah. i'm like oh that's a bass you know it's yeah. that big and i throw i'm throwing it little stuff and then i actually saw some bass yeah. on it and they're like that big it's like kind of messy you got, it takes a little yeah while to get used to you know i thought i was looking at like a sturgeon or something but that's just what a bass looks like on that screen. that's the only conversation when seth pulled up i kind of asked him about electronics and you and i used to both work for an electronics company and we kind of both of us kind of part our ways and now it's a free-for-all right and then you're yeah. seeing a lot of that like a lot of that i mean it's just that's just how it is i mean the 100 elite series guys i mean 80 per like last year it seems like maybe i don't know 30 maybe 40 percent of the guys were like on live scope like this year it seems like from no, what i've seen more. On, i'd say like 50%, maybe 50 50 yeah right At but least this 50. year you're gonna see like 80 90 i even talked to a dude who incorporated augmented reality glasses into and you'll see it this week if he busts okay. them out yeah he's got the augmented reality glasses where he says, oh, at least my neck's going to be saved. He doesn't have to look down. He's got so his he's watching scope. He's got the glasses, glasses on really? his scope. He can see past it. He too, says he's he like said. in an IMAX really? theater, dude. He says it's like surrounding all, and it's like heads up, and he's looking, and he could see through the image and see the rocks and the trees and the docks and everything. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, I'll tell you who it is after this, okay. but yeah, it's You're it's pretty crazy. Completely random. Who and the that's just is. the start too. Like that's just the start. That's where we're at in Bassin right now. I yeah. mean, do you like it? Do you like that? Uh, no, but it's a, it's it's a part of the game at this point. It's not going anywhere. Like, no, I, get good at it, or or you're gone. Gone. Did yeah. It, yeah. Like you, in a perfect world, I would just skip jigs under boat docks. Absolutely. And, like, throw spinner baits to lay downs. Yeah. But yeah. It just it not, a majority of the year, that's not gonna get you paid anymore. Yeah. Didn't you switch to live scope the year before you won your AOI, but won your AOI without it at all? No, I was still. I, I had a hummingbird on the AOI year. I mean, the only time I ever used it was I was catching some small mouse at Champlain off those mooring buoys, and I'd like see that there was one on there. I never like watched a fish eat my bait or anything, but I'd see like a a blob on the chain or whatever. Your AOI the year you won AOI, there's only like three or four dudes on live scope. I think no, there is a lot more. Mm. There's quite a few. Yeah, because yeah. Schmidt was on Champlain. Yeah, yeah. No, there was guys. Yeah, I guess it, so. it was definitely getting used, but. I don't think they were as skilled at it as they are now. Everyone's, you know? like, pushing each other right now, like, dude. Yeah. Wow. Like, I it's fished insane. around Coyo last year at Champlain. Yeah. That was eye-opening. He's, yeah, he smoked you, didn't he? Oh, it was... Isn't that, it, and it you're hurt, the smallmouth guy, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hurt my soul. I was watching, dude. His yeah. trolling motor was either around 100... Yes. ...or he was reeling one in. Yes. There was nothing in between. Isn't that crazy? Like, like, I, I see fish on scope and whatever I throw, I make a bad cast, I miss him, or I don't get him to bite. Like, I, he's nailing everyone and catching everyone he throws <sighs> at. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't remember what the numbers were, but he, like, 10 to 1 me, That's basically. That's insane, yeah. dude. Just flying by me, and then he'd, like, slam on the brakes and instantly hook one. Speaking of, speaking of brakes, have you got on with the sea brakes yet? No, 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 I'm not going down there. No, nah, dude, that's what everyone says until they they try it. It's legit, dude. I, I it creates can, distance, right? Because like it's all about creating distance. I think I can do that without doing yeah. that. Yeah, because uh, just the mentally no. Pole trolling motor has the one feature; it'll backspin the grass. Yep. So I think I can reverse with that while still Panning. pointing forward, but. I just got one of those, and I freaking love that trolling yeah. motor. It's oh, legit, yeah. dude. Sweet. Absolutely legit. Yeah. There's no giant cord in the way that hangs up on oh, your graphs yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's super yeah. smooth. 
And I, I'm curious to see how those troll backup troll motors work when like, like people are like running across Lake Ontario. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what those, I told they're gonna, him. They're going to like break yeah. the poles, yeah. right? That's what I told but, him. I said, you better have a way to chop it off. Like, you know. So I thought about you. I thought about you because I remember you telling me a story at Champlain where you had like a graph just like chattering off or something, right? Or was it a graph or a pole I or something? Snap to graph. Uh, yeah, graph and you just toss it in the boat. lake, right? Because it no, was it like just, it gone. Oh, completely I just gone. Away and I didn't have graphs okay. anymore. I thought you cut <laughs> they it. Hang away. on for a second, and then the cords ripped out. <laughs> I thought you. I thought they were dangling there, and you cut it away. But no, going back I, to I that, I did cut a talon off. That, okay, that's what it was. The Sabine River. That's what, it was. and that's yeah. what I. That's what I would do. You just do. just snap. Dude, and it see. was. I was all the way up. Taylor's or whatever. No, it wasn't. It was one before Taylor's. Hildebrandt. No. 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 Natchez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Natchez, yeah. Yeah. I was way up that river. It's like end of the day. You know how silty that place is. Oh, yeah. I hit my talons down, and it goes all the way into the mud, and I'm hitting it. It's not coming up. It's like time to go. Like, I got to go now, dude. <laughs> yeah. I just took a, I just cut the wire, took four bolts off, and just heaved that thing into the <laughs> cattails and flew back with one of them on. <laughs> There's some Sokolite fisherman like holding oh, no, no, up his no. I'm pretty sure my marshal went back and got, <laughs> got it. it. He was <laughs> like a little kid, like a you know, college kid. Oh, He's yeah. Like, I'm going back and getting that yeah. thing. I'm like, yours, dude. <laughs> dude that is yeah. awesome. That's hilarious. That's legit. It, looking at what they like, like you have to be doing the whole electronics thing to compete. So going back to when you started and you didn't have the money, do you think it's very fair what's going on, at least at, like, the opens ranks and stuff, the younger ranks? Uh, I mean, yes and no. I, I It's going to be tough for a kid with no money to get into all that, but I don't know how much of that you really need, you know. Like, we have – I got four and right. six graphs on my boat right now. Do you – you can – I'm sure you gotta get by with one, one yeah. on the trolling motor. Yeah, you know, a graph up front, graph in the back. You don't have to go wild. Yeah, and there's still a place for a, with the exception of you know summer and winter tournaments. There's still a place for a guy just beating the bank, absolutely, or just fishing right. absolutely, instinctually, and you know. So you think a guy, you think a guy could qualify for the elites in the opens? Uh, just based off instincts, no life scope. Well, the opens are nine tournaments. I mean, that's yeah, tough throughout the it, year. I don't know if it could. I, I would. I would love to believe that, and that, definitely the certain pr- person could. But it's going to have to be like like a, a Greg a Hackney, a Greg Hackney, <laughs> yeah, exactly, absolutely. Um, a guy that's that good at fishing to make it. Where I feel like now with the way it is, that maybe those. Maybe some of the guys that get in just scoping aren't at that level, but they're not going anywhere. They're going to be fine. You right. Know what I They'll mean? survive with scope. Yeah. When, um, so I don't want to go like into the split and stuff because I do it. No. But he's like one of six guests that we can go into the split. I don't, I don't want to go back. You know, I'm already getting grief over the polygraph thing. Have you seen the polygraph yeah, podcast? Yeah. 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 Uh, I wish you guys could like say names. I know. Like a, I pretty much did say names. <laughs> you did, but you didn't. You, did. you know it's what like I mean? Same, like it's almost it's every kind of like a tease. I was just hoping you guys were going to come out and say stuff. Oh, almost every story was the same name. Or yeah, his I friend. mean, I knew, but yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. like, I wanted the, the world. I, yeah. yeah, well, you know, it's the polygrapher's story to tell. You okay. know, I think he was legally, you know, yeah. we had to cut. We had to cut a couple scenes out of that because I, I let yeah. out. I let out like location you know yeah. where this angler was traveling for whatever i i wanted to say names you know me yeah. i was yeah. down to but we, were we had to respect the yeah. yeah we had to respect our guest um yeah I'm, get into it go ahead ask, no, ask well, far away uh well i, I mean i i don't want to go into the split but when you're looking back so before the split happened did you understand why people were upset uh not really no not I hadn't really been around long enough, and like what they were mad about, I wouldn't. Same here. Be mad I, about I didn't really understand. Didn't it. Kind of like the same thing we started same out here. talking yeah. about. You know, like, I didn't understand it. Yeah. yeah. So then the split happened, and then we're present day. Do you think um, you hear all the payout talk? But do you think like another split could ever happen, or people could be that pissed again? I don't. I don't see a split. Ha- I yeah. would think I would see a merger being more likely than a split yeah interesting um, 
I just, I don't, whatever, split into like four leagues now. Yeah, I know. Wow. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's on. dilute the pie even yeah, more. It's already too much. Would, uh, would you say the number one complaint in 2024 for professional fishermen? It, well, I mean, this is, they've been saying it for 10 years, but would you say is the payouts the number one complaint? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. That, and it's not like there was a lot of broken promises from. Yeah years passed before i was even there you know so yeah that didn't really affect me but um yeah well, but then they just signed up for the same, even more same broken thing pro- even yeah. more broken promises yeah. <laughs> yeah. like true. we're gonna have health insurance we're gonna be like the pga <laughs> yeah. okay. come on yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part mm-hmm. was um when i would ask people like what are what do you want changed and there were two names they wanted fired and one of those names ended up being hired by MLF, and I thought it was this, mm-hmm. the, the, and I was just dying laughing mm-hmm. because it was almost immediately that he was hired before the even AOY meeting or the AOY event had ended. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, that's the very guy all y'all said Bass needed to fire yeah. for you to stay. Yeah. And they still went. Yeah. It's the funniest thing. Those are fun times, dude, <laughs> battling out. That was fun yeah. times, dude. Was 2019 wild. was, was like... Wild. Like that was like a hell of a bonding season, nineteen twenty oh, for like yeah, the all the year. anglers, yeah. right? Like oh, yeah. all the, the bass team meetings and, yeah. and everything. Like you, like like you'd see We're me at way, and I'd see it, yeah, all buddies, dude. Yeah. yeah, but then now it's like five, six. It's like back to the same thing. Yeah. Like we're back. That guy back. cut me off. I hate. Him. I hate yeah. that guy. Yeah, <laughs> we hadn't fished around <laughs> exactly, each other, enough, dude. You know? I know. Yeah, we're all still new. And I know. One guy does so, something, and you just hate him for the rest of your life. You know? It only takes one turn. Oh, yeah. dude. It's amazing. I was gonna start there. Yeah, exactly. What are your thought on how? Uh, what's your thoughts on how young the rookie class is? I mean, they are like babies. Yeah, I think you're gonna see that a lot. I, I don't think that's going away with the technology we got because, like, it took me like 20 years to learn how to bass. Fish. Absolutely, right. dude. Now, like these kids, they fish two years just straight scope and dude, 24 seven. Have you gone out? So out I, you guide, right? You got to guide on the lax or no? Uh, no, no, I don't. You have any like hard hardcore scopers up there oh, in yeah. Minnesota that yeah. you've hopped in the boat with and like learned from like like bit. firsthand like yeah, in the boat bit, yeah like some of my biggest takeaways like I I've hopped in the boat like I, I have to like I I feel like yeah. like you said oh, I've yeah. I've learned twenty years of throwing a giant swim bait where not to throw it where to throw it spinner bait jigging yeah. whatever it is yeah. and like I hopped in the boat with these guys and it's like everything I've learned over the last twenty five years out the freaking window dude yeah. out the window oh, yeah. like these boys are literally putting the trolling mode in the water zero contours no yeah. drop oh, offs yeah. no corners structure. channel swings rock literally pile, putting the trolling cares? dude it is yeah. insane like i grew and that's up, like looking for rocks yes that's all you did like, yeah rock pile this rock pile this boulder that boulder that like no and yeah, these guys all, in texas are catching them in, on the muck like, like yeah. on muck banks oh, yeah. like and that's what our rookie class is in a nutshell yeah. I, I would i, I mean I mean, they're capable of doing that, right? Oh, but, yeah. No, but that 25 really, years of yeah. flipping a jig, finding yeah. a rock pile, throwing a spinner bait on oh, yeah. laydowns, that, that that ain't them. Yeah. It's insane. It's a real, like, weird... Well, you're about the same age as me. Yeah. Real weird time, because, like, when we were growing up, dude, your fishing prime was, like, 45. Yeah. And, like, in the course of a couple of years, before yeah. I could get to that point, It'll the fishing change. prime, like, flipped to, like... 25 i know yeah, yeah yeah and it's like i was like we're chasing this too young to be yeah. there now i'm too old to be there and <laughs> yeah. it's like just a weird spot oh, to be it's in. so crazy yeah. dude do, so crazy do sponsors adjust to that do you, because i know like it's always been top heavy right like the vet sucked up the whole budget and you guys it seemed but after the split they gave y'all some but yeah it seems like the young guys are always just getting a little bit but not much do you think that sponsors start to look at the young guys more early on and, uh, and get rid of the vets? I mean, maybe. I, I don't know how they think, but um, either way, the kid, he's still going to have to have a personality, still yep. be entertaining. A robot up there staring at a scope all day, Goes whatever. Nowhere. Yeah. It's like sponsors, you know, unless you're just out there like winning two, three tournaments yeah. a year. Even then. It's, it's not going to change. I mean, yeah. if you're not marketable or have a personality, it really doesn't matter how good or bad you are. How do you show a personality scoping? I am so over. Well, it. I mean, get yeah. excited when you catch fish. Like right. some of yeah. these kids are just like or robots, right? Like, yeah. Just put them in the live. Well or the play by play. Like right explain the play by play. I catch fish in a tournament. It gets me jacked up. Yeah. 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 Right. I mean, that's the funnest thing about fishing. Like you out fun fishing and catch a bag one. It's like, yeah, cool, whatever. But yeah. And a, a five pounder in a tournament, like. 
Oh, I don't know. That's the best. Dude. People, yeah. um, I can't hide it. Yeah. Well, people like you know uh, online like you know don't like his theatrics, but what they they think it's like him putting it on for the camera. No, he's like that. Anytime he catches Love a fish, it, dude, yeah. like, absolutely got to yeah. be. It's a lot better than yeah. sitting there with a dip in your mouth and just throwing it in a live well, putting it on a scale, and oh, that's a three pounder. Okay, you zen now. So you are that guy with a dip in your mouth. My that camera guy. My camera guy introduced me to him. How do you zen at all? <laughs> uh, I've tried a couple, a couple upper deckies, but <laughs> upper deckies. Uh, <laughs> I just like smoking, man. I <laughs> yeah, I just, awesome. I, I, like I've tried like uh, nicotine gum and chewing and zins and all that. I just like burning smoke. I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Charles, they went to Europe, and Charles apparently, when he goes to Europe, feels like he has to uh, blow through a few packs oh, yeah. and then some. Look yeah. at him nodding. Speaking of <laughs> international, yeah, international travel. Have you have you been outside of the United States? Bass, they're not bassing, but just fishing the peacock thing. Uh, no. Or, no, yeah, no, I went to Canada this year, duck hunting. And that was oh, about cool. it. That's yeah. your jam, huh? In the off season, yeah, I'm kind of starting to like turkey hunting more than duck oh my hunting. Gosh, you know? dude, you're it's t- really, oh my it's like gosh, it's hurting dude. my fishing. Absolutely. It's a problem because it's like March and during April. like peak tournament yeah, April, season. Yeah. And like, that's it's all I want to do. It's the yeah. best. Do you dude. do it in Minnesota or do you come down here? I go, I am um, all over. I definitely hunt in Minnesota for sure, but yeah, I usually hit few states each spring yeah 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 you know i kill one bird in minnesota and that's just not enough for right yeah me, you know i yeah i'm gonna have to hit, take a couple other people hunting hunt with buddies or something go watch them kill one and hit a few states and kill a couple more birds yeah the first time we ever went hunting for anything well i've been hunting my whole life with my dad but never actually i was kind of a baby you know little, had a little pita in me couldn't pull the trigger okay yeah totally would cry that, uh that surprises me <laughs> does it yeah. i'd be like you killer, just don't call killer. Yeah. Yeah. well I am, I am now but we went um turkey hunting that was the first thing we did yeah. to hunt and uh just it's like a gateway and... drug yeah oh, it's, it's amazing it's like crack it and then like the worst part is you kill one and it all it makes you want to do is kill another one yep. yeah it's like it doesn't it doesn't satisfy you it makes it worse we had a um we did a competition the first time and he was supposed to shoot one we were on a team he was supposed to shoot one and i was supposed to shoot one and then we were going against teams and he decides his first shot not to be patient and takes the head off of two of them Nice. And we got DQ'd. Oh, and I didn't, yeah, even, I didn't even get to. Yeah, dude. Oh. Yeah. And this little derby we're doing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we didn't know. And then the guy who was with us was like, yeah, it's over. <laughs> it was awesome, though, dude. It was so awesome. Um, so we're jumping around everywhere. Like like I said, we're, we got practice in the morning. Everyone's amped up, right? Hey, right. by the way, there's a 450 boat high school tournament going on tomorrow. What do you feel about that? Oh, I thought that was on Rayburn. No, no. it's, it's, it's here? here tomorrow. Oh. They postponed it, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. The weather's going to be oh, nice at least. Live, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, like I said, we're jumping around all over the place. But, um, so you know what it takes to win AOI. Obviously, you won it in 21. 21. 21. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's a hell of a feat, and uh, you'll, you will have that attached to your name forever. And it's almost like a golden key. Um, ticket. Golden ticket, whatever. Whatever. Uh, how do you feel about, you know, you again, you lived the split. You decided, like myself, to stay on the bass side. How do you feel about uh, BASS letting AOI, past AOI winners, although they left us, back on in the Elite Series? Or classic I mean, winners. Or about classic about winners. Jordan Lee? Whoever. Okay. I don't know who else that yeah. would pertain to. Yeah. Well, just well there was a couple the guys in the past. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a I list mean, I of think there's, trying. In, that's, I think that's person to person yeah. more than anything like i got no problem with jordan i like yeah. jordan he's yeah. as good as they get yeah. and i've never heard a bad thing about yeah. him so I got he no, didn't really yeah. trash bass or anything yeah. no i yeah. got no problem with him coming back some yeah. of them i mean now there's a couple of them yeah, though that sure. where you stay away from i mean yeah. obviously because you were on those calls right when you know at oh, that yeah. time you were on all those calls yeah some dudes were just like straight up you know hating and yeah all that so you do think that uh, should there be like an in, like when they like, how does Bass handle that? Like, what do you think? Just be like, screw off, I mean, bud. I would take it person by person. Yeah, if I yeah. Didn't right. Care for the person, I won't let them back in. Right. But that's just me. Yeah. Do you, um, I always thought, 
I think I told Chase this. I think that I'm sure there are so many people at Bass that vote. You know who the next person would be? Because I know that there are multiple people who have called to come back. Okay. I think that you six that chose to turn your invite down should be a part of that vote. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. yeah. Because y'all have y'all were a part of the split. Y'all stood up for something. Y'all didn't know what was going to happen, yeah. you know? Refresh um, my memory. Who were those six again? You two, Stetson, um, Steve Kennedy. Right next door. Yeah. Lowen. Yeah. Benton. Benton. Six. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that y'all should have say, you know, have a vote. Because y'all understand there's so many new people at Bass now I was talking, I think maybe to you or whoever the other day, and I was like, they don't have a clue what went down yeah. back then, and uh, the history, you know, they're clueless, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Wild but times. yeah, there's a point where you just like move on and move forward, right? I mean, yeah. it's what, just like just what, like the electronics debate. I mean, right? If you get stuck and you get stuck flipping a jig and throwing a spinner bait, you're gonna get left behind. Yeah. You, I mean, you have to adapt. I mean, you yeah. have to. Got to move forward. Have you said you're like, uh, have you gotten past what happened back then and the the BS that went with it? Yeah, I have. I yeah. mean, it, like when it first happened, I was all like, F them and this yeah. and that. But it, like now at this point, it's like kicking a dead horse. It like, is. It's <laughs> not even an argument. It, it's yeah. like, I remember I, some of the guys I feel bad for. You yes, know, they're, yeah. they're totally. in a tough spot and there's yeah. not much they can do about it. Well, there is something they can do about it, but. Yeah, it's I remember hard like, for to go back to the open. Remember about three years ago, after like huge changes were happening and like all the little clues were coming out, like these guys aren't happy. I remember you coming up to me and we had a ramp or something. You're like, "Oh yeah, the war's over. War's over. Like it's done. Like yeah. done." And that was like three years ago, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah so it sounds like we moved on. Yeah, it was the best decision I ever Absolutely, made. Absolutely, dude. Sure. And, and there was a time I was thinking about going, you know, yeah, but I just yeah. saw like red flag after red flag. He thought like, about it. Yeah. Oh, I did too. Yeah. You know, lots of talks about it. But. Was your wife as involved as my wife? Like she, she literally threatened to leave me if I if I went seriously. Uh, I like, mean, she didn't do she, that to yeah, me, but yeah. and but she's not. Like, you know everything about yeah. that. You're right. really right. into it. Yeah, right. she's right. not. Right. As, right. She knows yeah. I like to fish and whatever. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. She knows like who my friends are and stuff, but she doesn't know like the, the ins and outs of like yeah. everyone we're fishing against yeah. and like the owner. Like I don't even know them all, but I um, he's he says like I you know I did say that in one of the blow ups, <laughs> but also I was calling FLW and they gave me an invite to FLW because I was like I can't show my face at Bass. I can't go fish the opens while you go to MOF. Like yeah, yeah. that's not gonna oh, work yeah, out. You're, yeah, you're fishing so, the opens. So you know I was. You know, but they had said so much in front of him that was like so wrong about bearing bass that I was like, dude, oh, yeah. like, do you really want to be a part of this? Yeah, it was born in an evil place. Yeah. They're getting what they're. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, Now let's move past that. I said, I told people after the polygraph one that I was going to, I'm done. I'm talking about MLF. <laughs> like Not I said, good. I said my piece. <laughs> I mean, my dad told me, it, my dad has this saying and he said, um, he said, you lit the bonfire and I'll let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so going into this year, uh, do you have any goals or thoughts or is it, you know, have you even thought about it? Uh, same goals as always. I want to win a tournament and qualify for the classic and. An AOI run comes of about. I don't think you really set that as a goal. It just right. Like when it happened to me, it was just so out of my control. Yeah. Like right. Like I was almost like a out of body experience. You know, like sitting back just watching it. Like that's insane. Yeah, like I just couldn't do anything. It was like meant to be. Like, so you're like three it was quarters. Destined. Yeah, you're like three quarters away through the season, and you're like, oh my gosh, I got to run at this thing. Was it like? How does that come about? I mean, how does that? you know again like two three tournaments left and you're like oh wow i mean i really have a shot let me adjust it started happening like mid-season mid-season yeah you left the south you left the south good and even like i think we're at gunnersville yeah kind of late yeah maybe may june or something like that and i had a good tournament there and i was like pretty close to the top or wherever i was and then we're going up north i'm like it's really happening but really i never felt any nerves to like the first day at the st lawrence last tournament but um it all came out then it was bad i was like dry heave in the morning before blast were you really dude uh, didn't lose a fish all year like i had one little deep spot i dropped the camera on there's like three or four big ones down there i lost every one of them 
in you the first all hour and lost them. in the first hour of the first day of the oh last tournament my of the year gosh. Like, yeah. who's your camera guy ek ek yeah, yeah. oh yeah okay. yeah yeah, yeah. Do, wow do outside of that day do you ever get nervous yeah you do, I do. Yeah. you seem like a total chill person yeah like. but like you still feel it in your stuff nothing yeah. like, a dart like, won't in the fix morning, like <laughs> I, I don't think... know it's like any but it's any tournament it's like right i'll feel that's that good, way fishing though. a wednesday night or that's at my good house. though like, dude you right. get yes. that anticipation and that nervousness like right when you're blasting off yeah. and it doesn't i mean i'm talking about a little 20 boat like yeah. No one cares if you win tournament. But. but that's like that competition part of it yeah. more than like total nerves, right? Yeah. Yeah. How do you, I mean, you won AOI. Man, I wish I could win an AOI. Uh, I wish I could win a tournament at that. Me too. Um, ha- like <laughs> in your mind, if you were to draw out a blueprint to get the edge on the 99 other dudes out there, what, what would it be? Like the first two things that come to mind. Because I know you're like a bait tinkerer. Are you like a, uh, are you a guy who does a whole lot of research? Are you at the room no. where Matt Robertson's chirping in the back? Are you like, you have all the maps up and all that? Not mm-hmm. at all. I mean, if we go to like a shallow river place, I'll stare at Google. Earth right. For like look ever. at the clear water. Look, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, But like a lake like this, no research. There's probably a tournament here this weekend before, not a clue what won it, where yep. it was won. I don't care. Yep. Like I'd rather, if I, Sometimes I want to know just to like stay away from that because yes, like, yes, you know like that's smoked. where everyone's going. That's yes. what they're gonna do. Yeah. Like, so I might want to know that just to avoid that area. But I'd rather just like not know anything and just like read the contours. Read, yeah, let's go fishing that man. day. Yeah, like, ever, like you talked to my other people, like where are you gonna start practicing? And it's like not a clue. Who dude. cares? Yeah, I'm gonna put my boat in the water. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I've got to be that way myself. Yeah. Looks good over there. I'll go try that. Yeah. Or drive around. No boats fishing around this there area. I'll try this. Yeah. Like, that's usually how I find my, most of the stuff I fish in a tournament. Like, okay, boats all over here. Boats all over there. Uh, nobody's fishing over there. I'll try that. Yeah. Were you like that as a rookie or did that just come? No. Um, no, I definitely did a lot more like studying when I was a rookie and I like pre practice and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Like that is the biggest waste of time. Waste of time. It, like, is. it wastes if it wastes your practice for the tournament, in my opinion, from what I've learned. Unless you're gonna fish a wintertime tournament. Right. Like I, I came down here Same and looked frame. around before cutoff. Ended up being a waste of time. But yeah. um a winter tournament, I think, a month before can still make some kind of a difference. Or, you know, maybe a summertime smallmouth tournament a month before it can make a difference. But historically, the majority of our tournaments are fished somewhat around the spawn, spawn. where it's pre spawn, spawn, post spawn. A month before is just. Which means fish are moving. Yeah. yeah. You're going to go look around a month before. You're going to catch a few fish and you're going to go check that again when you come back. And they're your gone. Three days of practice. Yeah. So you, it's just a waste of time. Yeah. Like, I'd rather just figure them out that week. Yeah. Find everything as it's happening. But like this week here, I mean, here we are. It's like thirty five degrees outside, right? We got practice, so three days of practice, then we have an off day. And each day it's like fifty five, sixty five, seventy five, seventy seven, seventy eight, like throughout the week. So yeah. it's like I mean, take your time, right? Yeah. Just chill. I mean let yeah, it come the first to you. Day right? and a half let, of practice yeah. here is probably going to be a waste of time too. And but. then there's nine rookies out there who are just like oh, uh, I gotta go ping a minnow. Uh, yeah, they'll catch them doing it too, though. <laughs> yeah, they will. Yeah. They absolutely yeah. will. Like, honestly, I think in, like, I don't know, maybe, like, five years from now, we will be, like, the oldest people fishing. I know, dude. Years. It's insane. Because every year you're going to get 10, 20-some-year-old scopers. Five years from now, that's it's, 60 of them. These like kids nine, ain't going anywhere. No, absolutely not. It's like when we fish the Opens, a, a few good guys would make it, a few... Right. Guys that can maybe make it maybe. would make it, and then, and then there's then three be a few guys who are going to be gone yeah. for sure. Yeah. Gone, yeah. You're not going to have that anymore. Fishing all nine, and then with scope, like all these kids that are all the kids that made it this year are going to be fishing. That's interesting. You're right. Yeah. Five years from They're now, you and I are going to be the oldest dudes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So we had um, JT Tompkins at our house yeah. last week. He stayed for like three or four days. We didn't know him, so we got to know him. Yeah. He did a podcast with us when he got there, and then he just stayed. Because okay. his boat wasn't ready. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he's like the old man that he used to make fun of. That's like hard headed and stuff. Yeah. They went fishing together. And it was like the young kid. He was like trying to teach the old man. And the old man being like, 
he doesn't know what he's doing. And it was the <laughs> funniest thing I've ever yeah. seen in my uh. life. Because it reminded me of when I started dating him like 11, 12 years ago and how my dad felt about him when they go fishing. Just yeah. like this hot shot thinks he knows more than me. Yeah. It's crazy. In this game, you can't like you have to stay on like the cutting edge of everything. Mm -hmm. dude. Whether it's the latest bait trends. I know you've got an awesome network with all like your you're the guys you roll with are like, I mean, the Johnsons. Especially. Are you a network? Do you talk to the guys in practice that you roll with? Oh, a little. Like when we come back to the house of the yeah. night, never Maddie locations. A little bit on though, the phone some, I mean, stuff. never locations. Bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. General area. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not even that really. Yeah. More just kind of. I think that's how you break up most, you know, fishermen relation household relationships is when you start talking about locations. Because when that dude you just told that guy about shows up in that area, he's done. Yeah. You know. Better just talk patterns know? and lures. I've seen it happen a million times. Are you kidding me? Chris doesn't have a lot of friends. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Do, I. yeah. Just do your own <laughs> he thing. He doesn't talk yeah. to a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. That's better that way. Yeah. 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 He's kind of like, he's turned into a Dean Rojas, I feel like. <clears throat> just do his own thing. Mm. Not quite. Now Not he quite. has Now he has one young friend, JT. I mean, I mean, in a nut, I mean... Just overall, what I've learned over the years is, I mean, what Dean Rojas said, you got to take care of yourself. Like if you're, if you don't do it yourself, whether it's practicing, putting 20 pounds in the live well, uh, taking care of your sponsorships, like if you don't do it yourself, then it's not going to get done. Like he's not going to do it for me. I mean, yeah. JT's not going to do it for me. You do some of it for me, but it's, uh, you got to take care of yourself at all times. Yeah. So whether you're staying with Robertson or 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 the Johnsons or whatever, like you can't rely on them for for everything. Yeah, that's true. Did did you were you ever close with any of the vets from uh, pre split? Uh, no. My roommate at the time was Spore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. he went one way. I went the yeah, other. Spore, yeah. Yeah. Spore. Um, yeah. Fast cat dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah. No, I wasn't. I didn't have a lot of friends that went. Wow, I haven't I seen him before. Is he fishing this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's still doing it. Yeah, he's still doing Pretty sharp guy, too. huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's a good dude. He does a lot of stuff out of Venice, too. Yeah. He runs an operation out of Venice. Yeah. Um, Did you have one of those guys, though, you looked up to? One of the vets? I Danny, mean, some guy, of right? them, but like, I kind of lost all respect for him right. after they yeah. left. Right. Like, I don't know, one of the biggest names in bass fishing. Like, yeah. yeah. I we had drove a lot by of him respect today. for him before he left. And yeah. afterwards, like, I could care less about anything yeah. he's ever done. And we drove right by him today. Name yeah. guy there is. <laughs> yeah. We had, we had Clun on our very first guest, and he made a comment. Gosh, yeah. it, it's, and only Clun could say it, right? Yeah. He said, uh, he said, yeah, his, when he left, his storybook ended. Oh, yeah. yeah. Finish the chapter close. Yeah. And that was that. Yeah, that was no, powerful. I remember that. Yeah. That's powerful. Um, what would? I mean, I don't even know where to go right now. Uh, what? What? After looking back, what have you learned anything now that five years has passed? Has is there anything that's really stuck with you? Like fishing tournaments and stuff. Fishing tournaments. Just with everything that's happened, you know. Like with the split and stuff? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, Trust your gut, really. Yeah. I mean, that's the only thing that saved me. Um, You saw it, dude. Well, those guys, it, they got persuaded. Um, I don't know. I just kind of, I don't know. I guess I hung out around a lot more shit bags when I was a kid. So <laughs> yeah, so you right, could spot one? right. <laughs> kind of, you <laughs> yeah. know. Like, if, I don't know. I feel like those were like. The cool private kids. kids schools yeah. you're, you're selling <laughs> that's bags a, of dope to you know what I mean that's like, a good way uh, and point. I was like oh no I know what that is like <laughs> yeah. no that's not it that's amazing so, I don't know they kind of jumped all in on a pipe dream or yeah. whatever you want to call it but um, are you happy with how Bass has uh, handled it the last five years yeah yeah yeah. 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 I don't got no complaints uh, I mean I bitch about the schedule a little bit this year but I mean what what don't you like about the schedule? Uh, well, now a lot's changed because this should have been a winter tournament. Yeah, like, this should have been a straight scope. I thought it was minnow gonna in the be timber. The, like a guy, have, a guy can yeah. go fish the bank now. Yeah, yeah, and probably at Fork too because yeah. of the weather we've had, so which was happy. unforeseen. Yes. yes, yes. But looking at it on paper before, it was setting up to be two winter tournaments. Yeah, you see February. Like, yeah. yeah. 
and then all summer tournaments. There was like no spring tournaments, right. and now potentially we have a couple. And then the only other problem I had with it was like the timing of a couple. I'm like the Alabama ones in the summer, and then being a week apart, like. Do you think, I'm gonna drive home, be home for three days, and turn around and drive back to Alabama. Like, do, do they? Do you think they should include you guys in developing this? Schedule? No, because no. there's a hundred of us, and right. yeah. it would be everyone's hot, gonna be like, yeah. "Oh, yeah. I want to go here then and here yeah. now." Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, we don't need to be involved. Yeah. But right, um, some of the stuff like, uh, like we used to get crap about chasing the spawn around. Yeah, right. But now with like forward facing sonar, I think we need to go back to that because even in the peak of the spawn say it's like perfect conditions full moon everything's on the bank there's still fish out in the middle the guy can go scope yeah, absolutely a tournament. there are yeah if we come if we came here you know when mlf was here you don't have an option yeah. right it's the only thing going you're gonna be scoping out in the yeah. middle like yeah, you true. do not you don't have the option to go down the bank yep. where uh, i don't care if it's the like i said the peak of the spawn there's still fish out in the middle so yeah. if you are a scoper and you want to go out there do you still can yeah but um the, I you, think you should have the option. You know, you like Florida in the later months. I, I do. I think I that's love gonna, that. I think it's love gonna be it. fun. Like I got a buddy that lives down there. You know, Garrett. Yeah, yeah. He said May is like in the best, the best. time of year to fish down there. And Dude, that's like every time we go there, things. it's like first week of February, the coldest week of the year. You're like dead sticking a Sanko for like a minute or yep. whatever just to get a 14 inch or to buy it. Nail, yeah. And it's like it sounds like that time of year you can like turn Move. your trolling motor yeah. up and like. Stop around jerking, and move yeah, fast yeah. and like cover frog, all like I'm used to frog, fishing. Like yeah. that's why I always suck in Florida because I can't like Be force used. myself Physically, to just yeah. put Dude, the, the poles worst. down and just you know cast like that. Dude, I just want to throw there, throw there, throw there, and gone. You that's know? what he would always talk about. Um, being from the Delta, he would talk about how the way they punch there that time of year is not the way he was used to and i don't know what the difference in swear but he would always complain about it like yeah. i can't bring myself to do it that way yeah. yeah delta punching was always like summertime fall getting out of the heat you know with current underneath and florida punching is like cold 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 sit there and like eh, 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 eh. oh there's maybe a bite let me set the hook you know like it's not the same not yeah. the same what uh? What do you look forward to on the schedule this year? Anything? Uh, the next two. To be yeah. honest with you, after the weather we've had. So, so here it's Toledo be Bay and yeah. Toledo and Fork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Done in, well. in my head, when I saw it on paper, I thought it was gonna be like a forty Frozen foot ramp. of water. Yeah, like yeah. cold, cold deal. But um, now I think I can go they'll fish out a lot of fish. They'll and, eat a big jig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. have fun. Yeah. That's awesome. And it's a huge playing field. That's the thing about Toledo oh, Bay. Like, yeah. It's massive. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you get away from I people. came here pre practice. Yeah. I spent two and a half days on the lake. I look back at my trail. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1% maybe. Yeah, dude. It's 10% crazy. maybe. I don't know. Like, Gosh. I don't. I never even saw the Louisiana side. <laughs> oh, my God. I never went north of that bridge. Wow. Like, it's like, what, 180,000? Acres. acres yeah that's insane yeah yeah big and you could literally win it anywhere for the most part you could literally win it anywhere yeah. so i think the mlf boys expose a lot of like decent areas you know of course but uh but those are the same areas that have been producing for decades and decades and decades yeah. so now it'll be interesting um what so uh, you're not rooming with Lee anymore? Lee's a good buddy of ours, obviously Texas uh, guy. No, never stayed you know, with never Lee. Stayed with Lee. Uh, maybe I just put him in that group. Yeah, well, we definitely yeah. we've had some beers. Yeah, before, absolutely. But, uh, <laughs> Why uh, don't you have a beer sponsorship? I don't know. Like of all people, Lee's a good beer per person. Oh, yeah, but like, why don't you? Um, have you even tried? I haven't. No. You should. You should. I should. Knock I tried Mountain Dew a few times and like. Oh, yeah. that would be awesome. Yeah, never got they're that some money in the fishing. Yeah, I don't know. They kept teasing me and then just. The problem is their marketing me. team changes like every. No, seven they have months. a new agency every two years. That's the thing. Yeah. Because they reach out to you to do something and. They were kind of liberal and. Yeah. Well, if Mountain Dew, if you're watching, and Marlboro Lights, if you're watching, yeah, holler at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, t tonight, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, what What else, Alden? 
I don't know. We got practice tomorrow. I know. I, that's yeah. why I that's didn't want to. That's a good wanna... quick hitter, I yeah. think, you know? I want to do a long one, but I don't want it to be about MLF, you know? Okay. Um, I want it to, I don't know what I want it to be about, but uh, I, I, I don't know. I really wanted to hear your thoughts on the Fouts thing and just because I feel like you've seen both sides of it, yeah, you know, and I, if looking at the elites, like if I were to name the top five brands on the elites, you're easily, if not the top, uh, a top three to me, you okay. know, definitely top five, but easily a top three. So I feel like you could talk to these rookies. Even JT Tompkins was at our house and he won AOI like dominated. Oh, yeah. And he told me some stories like, he was devastated trying to get sponsors. Yeah. yeah. It, to me, it seems like you're not going to get them until you do something on the elites. Right. Like yeah. being an open angler and winning right. an open. Like, right. We've seen it before, cool, right? But like, yeah, yeah. until you win You're on the radar. Lady, yeah, you're on the radar. You know, but at least get like, you maybe not win one, but you need to be in the hunt on consistent. one, whether you end up yeah. second or third or whatever you had, you know, yeah. in the last day you were going back and forth with the guy winning it, you know winning tournaments and then you know um showing up on bass live and showing, stuff like yeah showing some that's personality. where you really get stuff i had the same misconception like when i made it i'm like i made it dude i'm fishing the elite series like yeah. oh yeah i'm gonna get a bunch of sponsors and it was like the exception of you know having a few friends in the industry yeah. like i wouldn't have got anything like i sat there and emailed every company i could think of like with sponsor packet or whatever like yeah. nothing zero yeah like the only deals that it's all about who you know it is it until is. you get to a certain level and then people start coming to you but when you're like opens and just making it like yeah. if you don't have some friends in the industry um you're not gonna get any sponsors in the right. industry yeah. maybe your buddy owns a construction company or something he can all help right. you out or something like that but um i always yeah, say until you've done something on the elite series you're, there's no there's no sponsor money, so. I always say, you know, and I'm sure you'd agree, but like at ICAST, right, it's our big trade show for the year. It happens every year in Florida or sometimes in Vegas. It's like, it's it's funny seeing, it's not funny. I mean, I was the same dude, show up with your jersey, you know. It's the only time of year you'll tuck your jersey in into your, your nice slacks with boots. You know, everything's you crisp and nice. You boots? I used to. Oh, my god. I used to. And, you know, and, you know, you're sitting there on the carpet on the floor and you, know, you approach this company and that company, big old sign. Hey, how you doing? I'm Chris. You know, I'm a new Elite Series guy. I'm year two, year three, whatever. And I see these guys. It's like deals are never done on that carpet. The deals are done at the bar or the restaurant afterwards the, when you get to know the guy. You know, yeah. it just doesn't happen there. Howl yeah. at the moon. Yeah. Howl at the moon. Yeah. What did I cast? I mean, you're the hundredth guy that's walked up to him looking yeah. for a deal. Absolutely. You know? And their brains yeah, just fried. Goes, yeah. They don't care. Yeah. Yeah. But it just goes to what you say. It's who you know. It's yeah. when, sorry, I want to wrap it up, but also, um, what made your your first deal that you were like, this is a legit deal, C kind of like a career changing deal for you? What happened for that um, deal to occur? Do you remember? Career changing deal? Um, like one I don't that know if I got like, any of that. Or do you just stack a like bunch of them? Uh, you know, well, one that you were like. <laughs> well, one, one funny story I got. I mean, uh, not real funny, but uh, <laughs> one of my first sponsors was Daiwa. And, uh, well, like one of my best friends was a Daiwa rep at the time yeah. in Minnesota. Pete, um, he's at Omnia now. Yeah, I'm sure you know. Yeah. Uh, he was working there, and the guy at the time, Kurt Arakawa, yeah. he's not there anymore. He's He was head of marketing, but he's not like a bass head. Like, he doesn't right. know, I know who I people know. are. Like, yeah. Pete had to explain to him, like, who Brent Ayler was and yeah. Brandon <laughs> Polinick and stuff like that because he just doesn't follow the sport. And anyways, they're out drinking beers one night or at dinner or whatever. And my, this was like maybe a, a two out of the three opens in. At that time, he only did fish three. And he's like, my buddy's going to make the Elite Series. And Kurt's like, yeah, yeah. He hears, <laughs> yeah. He hears that all the time. You know, <laughs> right. He's in marketing for Daiwa. Yeah. And uh, Pete's like, no, he's going to do it this year. Um, and then somehow they got to making a wager that night that over dinner beers or whatever that if i made it he would sponsor me and die was like a hard place to get into yeah. it's right. not like a, yes it's a very small pro staff yeah. i have people call me all the time and like 
hey, you can get me on Dio. I'm like, dude, don't even waste your time. Like, yeah. Exactly. It's like mega bass. Same it's way. not like yeah. a pure fishing deal right. where they got yeah. 50 sure, pros or whatever. With right. different I mean? tiers of sponsorship. Yeah, it's yeah. a very yeah. Yeah. small deal. Yeah. Um, basically, over dinner, they agreed to that if I made it, that they would sponsor me. So that's how I got my Dio deal. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, you have, so, all about who you know. Yeah. The, did you uh, repay your friend for that? I think so. Probably. He's working I don't for him know. now. Yeah, he's, <laughs> we'll yeah see. he's selling tackle for him now. We'll Absolutely. Yeah, he's doing a good so. job, too. Yeah. Seems yeah. like every time I open up Instagram, you're you know promoting that sponsor. That's yeah. good, dude. It's really yeah. good. That's what it's all about. Um, anything else? I think this was a good little quick hitter. Like I said, we got practice uh, in the morning. It's not too late. I mean, what time do you normally go to bed? 10. Oh, yeah. He's well. We're both old people, but he really is old. He goes to bed at like seven thirty. Eight. No, really? he starts yeah. at eight. Eight thirty. Yes. How do you sleep? No, when it's not light in the summertime. Out. Summertime nine. Whenever you get but home, I'm up for, yeah, and during the lake, I'm you up go first. straight to the bed. Yeah. Well, he eats and is straight to bed. But you know that first practice session at the start of the year, dude. You're like up at four a.m., dude, just like ready to go, chomping at the bit. And since we're staying here at Cypress Bend Park, there's a 450 boat high school tournament going. Got to get up extra early. Is Oof. that going out of this ramp? It's weighing in here, but I think they're allowed to trailer oh. all throughout. Yeah, they can so. go to any ramp. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah but they'll be all over the place. It'll be a hot mess. I think usually because I I've always had a team. I think that they can put in now at 5:30. Before you could put in at 4:30, but now it's 5:30, and then their first cast isn't until like first light. Okay. How many times a month will you get a high school or college angler DM you about sponsorships? Yeah, every day. Every day, right? Well, almost. I mean, and every then week, every sponsorship. Week. Like, like a waypoint or something? Yeah, yeah stuff yeah, like that. It's like, yeah. Do you respond the balls, to all of them? No, the balls on these kids <laughs> is insane, <laughs> dude. I'm telling dude. you. Uh, like, that's like why when I, I grew that. up fishing, dude. That's why I asked that. Like yeah. the guys that would win the tournaments around me, if like were... I would, dude, no one would ever <laughs> tell you anything. Like I wouldn't even ask. <laughs> right. <laughs> like people had it. spots, like they had their name on yeah. dude. Like that's Ted Capper's point. Like I don't even <laughs> practice it. I don't fish in the tournament. <laughs> I know he's going to start there in the tournament. Like. You just didn't even fish it. Yeah. And now these kids are just like, they'd see it there. And like, as soon as you left, they'd pull in and then like, or say they want waypoints. It's like, go do it yourself. Exactly. Yeah. I never had anybody giving me waypoints. Go find your own fish. Or what were you throwing when I saw you on? Like, what? What kind of questions? I don't mind baits and stuff as much, but like, because I keep it pretty basic. Yeah. Like, oh, black and blue jig, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. You got one? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Yeah. We uh, but like the waypoints and stuff. Like, go find your own yeah, fish, dude. dude. Like, that's the biggest thing to yeah. these kids. Like, he just good point. Do your own deal. He had a sponsor. I don't know if you know this. Um, the guy who owns Santone. It was a um, he. Someone had messaged him or maybe me while we were at their house, and it said, "Hey, I have a tournament here. Where do I start?" And he was like, "Send them a waypoint to the ramp and." S- just like the G- S- GPS coordinates and, and say, say start, start here. here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. He said just send the coordinates and say start here. That's a good one. I don't know if he's up. Uh, uh, no, in this, sp- in this sport, hard. Yeah, you know he's probably fishing the ramp. He probably the- didn't even get it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Square probably, bell on the yeah. concrete. Yeah. Like, <laughs> all day long. That's where he said to start. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Uh, no, in this sport, like it pays to work hard. I mean, no doubt, work hard, stick yeah. to your stel- stick to yourself. Yeah. Um, like I've been ragging on these old young scopers, but like they put their time in. Yeah, yeah. sure. Like, there's an art to it. They're good at it. Yeah. Like, yep. Do you think pre-practice helps in scoping? Go into a lake early. I mean, maybe, but probably not. Just not not the way them guys are fishing. I don't think it does. Yeah. I mean, like when I was pre practicing and stuff, I was, you know, you're looking for brush piles yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, they don't even care. Spot, yeah. They're like, there's a bass right there. Right there. Throw looking right for at the, it. Right. Yeah, nothing. Right. Exactly. What's the pattern? Nothing. <laughs> exactly. I saw one 10 feet down. And you just threw it and caught it. Exactly. You know? It's crazy. And that's, it's that's the, the other biggest thing I've noticed. I don't think I've spoke about it, but like you, you and I were programmed to find structure. Yeah. Bass holding structure. Well, turns out, you and I on the elite series stage, we're not weighing in structure. We're not weighing in rocks and trees and channel swing banks. We're weighing in fish. Yeah. So it does not give a shit if you're, you know, it doesn't matter if you're finding structure. You're weighing in bass. If you see a bass and you could catch that bass, you yeah. are winning. 
you were freaking winning, and oh, yeah. that's how it is nowadays. Yeah. You know? It's wild. It is wild. It's absolutely wild. Does Bass ever put a restriction on it, you think? I don't think they should, yeah. no. Yep. I mean, I think it's just the evolving part of the game. Yep. It's changing, and yep. I don't think we should stop it. Yep. Do you think it'll help the shallow bite eventually? Like, it'll all I don't know. Out? That's the other thing, like, with the structure you was talking yeah. about, the weird part is, like, in the last couple of years, after scoping, like, all those rock piles I grew up fishing and looking for somehow have, like, less... Like, less fish don't fish even go to them anymore. <laughs> like, all the fish, they like, get away. went and sat out in the middle of the lake the same time. Oh, Everybody got good man. at scoping, and it's, like, so, mind-blowing. Do you think I, it's maybe the pressure that pushed them out into the abyss, and then now, eventually, the fish in the abyss will go back to the structure? I don't think so. No. So, no. yeah, with that. so it's, it, it doesn't make any sense. I made it kind of an like, anti... I made an anti-FFS post on social media and and of course matt heron calls me the next morning and he's like man he's like he's like yeah i agree with you 100 percent he's like but man let me tell you how bad it is like i fish the bank i fish my coves my pockets and i fish the, the cuts and he goes man it's so bad like they catch them all before they even come to me and they'll never <laughs> ever come to me again like do you think that's a thing like <laughs> i know they catch a lot out there but I mean, of course, a couple slide by and get back there, but you know, yeah, no, that, that was a funny I mean, little argument. We'll see what happens after this yeah. year, but I would assume a bass is still going to go to the bank yeah. at some point. Does every but they're not going to catch them all. Every tournament this year, get one using forward facing sonar. Potentially, I would yeah. say five out of the top ten in every single tournament will be scoping. I'd say right. at more. least, yeah. Oh, yeah. more than that. Absolutely. Like yeah. five, seven. seven. With the exception of, uh, and who knows how Florida shakes out, they right. could all go down in Rodman and shell bars on Harrison of and all that. They'll see them all before they um, can. With the exception of these two, I would say every tournament's going to get one on. Yep. And these two probably are still going to get one on forward-facing sonar, but I think I can I think I think can make a top you 10. You can hang, bank. absolutely. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but, yeah, I think it's gonna, they're going to win every – I mean, the – the tackle it's, box is going to get small. I mean, it's going to be a lot of, you know, jerk baits, jig head on a minnow, yep. and maybe some glide bait. And yeah. Like. It's crazy. That's going to be a lot of what you're going to see this year. That's crazy. I hope I, I'm a fan of the sport, right? I like to watch you guys. I like, even if Chris isn't fishing, I'm still watching. Even if he doesn't make a cut. And I just hope it's still enjoyable. Yeah, you know, I think it will they be. started overlaying yeah. overlaying Garmin stuff. It's yeah. not just the hummingbird stuff now. Like yeah, I if saw you can watch today. Yeah. what they're looking it's a little at, more that interesting. Makes a lot more and if the guy could commentate the yeah. play by play, yeah. that's that's legit. Like I okay, like, I cast it three feet past it. It's falling. It's falling. It's falling. Okay, and I'm gonna shake it above its yeah. head. Oh, here it comes. I'm gonna I play just the want cat personality. Yeah. I want excitement. Yeah, I think you know? that's the biggest <laughs> thing. Not yeah. necessarily the way you're fishing. I mean, like if I'm dobbing milfoil, dude, I'm just sitting there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing much thing. different. I'm just talking, standing there like, yeah, everyone's falling at the hook. But, but when you swing the bat, that's yeah. the exciting part. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's the replay, you yeah. know. But that's the thing, right? If there's no bat being swung and it's more like a real set, you oh, know. Of course. I mean it's yeah. but it'll evolve, I mean. Yeah. I yeah. hope so. so As a fan. It will. So you got two little girls at home? I got three. Three, three girls. Every now. time he wins, he has a baby. That's why we have no babies. <laughs> you know? Dang. Maybe wow. if you have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> there oh, you go. Whoa, whoa, don't oh, put the pressure go. on me. Okay. So uh your oldest, uh, she starts to grow up and you know, maybe she ends up like Trey wants to do the fishing thing. No, uh, absolutely not. Absolutely yeah, not. No. No. That's what I was saying. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. No. <laughs> No way. Unless they had it, like, unless they were like me and, like, ate up with Couldn't them. live without he, it. Yeah. But I don't think that would happen. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it will. Yeah. Like, I'm not, if, if they really want to do it, I wouldn't stop. Yeah, is that no, a male female if, thing? No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Just, okay. Good. That's, that's what, not male female. No, that's yeah. just like, this is a yeah. hard way for You got to be born for it. Yeah. It's not really. So up then you can just be like, yeah, that seems cool. I'm gonna go try tournament bass fishing. Like it's like Rick Klon, dude. Like the reason yeah. he never retires, like that dude literally cannot loves it. Like if he was sitting at home right now and th- and we were all yeah. here doing this, like oh he'd, he'd eat him he'd up off himself. Yeah, it'd be yeah, it'd be a pro- like he can't live without it. Yeah, and maybe I can now, but before I couldn't. Yeah. Like, um, and unless they were that way, there's not much sense in getting into it. If you're gonna like 
half ass try to and it's different if you just want to you know fish some wednesday nighters around the house sure. and team buddy terms sure. nothing wrong with that that's cool but maintain that's a job maintain but a steady like, job trying right? to do this like if you can't live without it you can't you're not gonna make you're it. not gonna hang yeah yeah, yeah. no is it hard stuff. for you to be away from your girls so mm-hmm. much yeah. yeah especially yeah now that they're older do you think you'll fish for a long time or do you think like do you about your girls being home and growing up yeah, I, I want to be home more than, like I, like I said, if I have two days off in between, I'm going to go home. The goal, and go again, him, the but. goal is to make enough money in fishing where you can retire, but unfortunately, like, there's only that many dudes that can make enough money in 10 years yeah. to retire, you know? Maybe mm-hmm. a smaller than that, maybe like but that. I said I'd like to do it for 20 years. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to do the Rick Klon thing. Yeah. But um, if I can do that professionally for 20 years i think that's hopefully i can get everything i want to accomplish done by then and then right get into some other stuff cool, good cool. for you well, good all Better right make well, some real money exactly <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you seem uh you seem chill but you seem pretty business savvy i'm sure you got some things that um you don't talk about you know that uh yeah i'm, I'm definitely well yeah you I don't know. You start making some money and you get accountants and yeah. people that know Help things. Out, yeah. Like, right. I don't know. There's stuff to do with your. Oh, yeah. Invest in anything. Yeah. 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 There's a... Small business, what, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I'd like to do more of that when I'm done fishing yeah. and. Very cool. And I can focus on and hang out with the girls more and. Sweet. Yeah. Good Ask stuff. your question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like I said, we got practice early in the morning. So, this was a nice quick hitter. How long have we gone, Charles? Oh, okay. So that's perfect. Um, okay. So yeah, we like to wrap up um, every podcast with, you know, just give give that camera right there and all the people watching some life advice. Now you are a father, so it could be dad advice. It could be fishing advice. Oh, no. Forget the fishing advice. You talked enough about fishing. Just life advice. Give us some life advice. Life how do we advice. succeed? Yeah. What have you learned or how, how, how can the viewers succeed in whatever they're doing? Um, I mean, it's just all comes down to finding something you love, you know, yeah. if, if you're doing what you love, you're going to be successful right. at it. Um, you know, something you have an interest in. I'd, I, I'd hate to be a guy that did a nine to five and just hated yeah. every minute of it. Yeah. Um, and like with anything, like nothing's really a get rich quick program. Anything you do is going to take you 10 years before you like start really hard reaping the benefit from like yeah. oh so we grew up fishing like you didn't think you were working on something for your future but no. like every day when i was a kid riding my bike to the lake fishing off the bank like that all got me to here you yes. know like i feel like i spent 20 years working to get here even though you know it's fishing you wouldn't think of it as like work or whatever Small but steps. yeah do find something you love do it and you know the people that I, you know, either a guy that's working a nine to five he hates or somebody that just doesn't have anything they love or really have a passion about. I don't know what to tell them people. Like, <laughs> it like, sucks screwed. to be you. I don't know. <laughs> how like, about you got to find something you love? Can you There's a lot it? of people that just don't have, like, just, eh. yeah. And I watch hate- football, I drink beer. And that's all fun and stuff. But, like, yeah. what do you love? What do you want to do? You know, like, if you don't, and it could be anything, you know? Sure. I like taking pictures Absolutely. of chickadees and robins. Yeah. Like, yeah, Rubik's Cube, whatever. Cool, you can make it. money. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. as long as you like love something. Yeah. YouTube, then, you can make money doing anything. anything. Yeah, whatever anything. You're Just into. work hard at it and yeah. grind on it yeah. every single day. Yeah. And then finally, Seth, that's awesome. Uh, can you just speak on um, maybe, you know, there's a lot of anglers out there um, who aren't comfortable being themselves, whether it's on the Instagram or on the YouTube or on Bass Live. Some of these open anglers I've seen the last couple of weeks, like, just be yourself. Like, just be yourself. I mean, what? Yeah. I mean, I mean, can you? They speak? might be being themselves. Well, too. like not sure. everybody. There like, are some hurt. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah, there are. Like, I'm but, not as social as you think I am. Right. Like, I right. like to be by myself. And like, yeah. That's I don't me. talk to that many people. You know. That's me. Yeah. Like. I'm not saying you got to be all wild and stuff. No, and maybe sure. that is you. Maybe you don't say sh- nothing. Right. How maybe do that's they... how you are. But well, how do you get sponsors? Okay, then maybe speak on. I you... don't know. <laughs> you better catch them really good. Maybe speak on. You said the first and second year you were kind of like trying to be that image type thing, you know. And whatever you, you thought people yeah, want. Well, right. Yeah, you got to be your, right. Be yourself. Let right. it come out. Yeah. Um, don't try to be someone else. And I think a lot of people are like trying to hide their excitement. Too. Right. 
Right. Like let that out. Yeah. yeah. Like some of these guys, you're full of shit, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like, you just yeah. you just boat flop to six pounder in the tournament. And like, you're shaking. He's just like there, it's no see- big deal. Like, yeah. yeah, you see okay. him shaking, yeah. breathing hard okay. in the in the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Like quit hiding it, maybe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, all right, Seth. That is awesome stuff, dude. Thank you so much for hanging out with us again. You were one of the six from 2019. Have the utmost respect for AOI winner. You just crush it in our sport. Thank you so much for hanging out on the build. Mm-hmm. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Trait came out swinging. We jumped around everywhere, but again, we got practice bright and early tomorrow. So everyone will be watching. Thank mm-hmm. you so good much, luck Seth. Yeah, You're awesome, dude. Appreciate, Appreciate you, bro. Yeah.